Hello and welcome to One Hit Wonders, the U.S. gamer video show where we die a lot. I'm Jeremy Parrish and I totally stole this idea from the Talking Time forums, but the premise here is that we're going to play different video games and we're going to play only until we die. Actually not die, but take a hit. As soon as we take a hit, we have to reset. So as our inaugural game in this potential future series, we're playing Super Mario Brothers, uh, which seems, you know, like always a good place to start out. Um, this may or may not be a series, like I said, depending on how popular it is. And everyone on staff or everyone who's interested in participating will be playing Super Mario in different ways. Some playing on emulators, some playing on Virtual Console. I'm playing the Famicom Disk System version just because I can, and also because the sort of load up time there gave me a little bit of time to introduce this project. But enough about that. Let's jump in and play Super Mario Brothers. See how far I can play until I take a hit. Um, I'm actually not super great at this game. It's been kind of my uh, my bete noir uh, all my life. Uh, this is sort of the game that I cut my teeth on playing. I mean, I played a lot of video games in the arcades before this, but <clears throat> it wasn't until... Oh, I totally skipped the uh, one up there. Uh, it wasn't until uh, I my, my friend got an NES that I really had a chance to play console games much. And uh, I would go to his house and we'd play, and since he owned the game, it was mostly him playing. It wasn't really a lot of me playing. And uh, so I'd sit and watch him play until he finally died, and then uh, I'd have a chance to play briefly until, because of my inexperience, I died very quickly, and uh, he would take over again. So it was a lot of me sitting and watching. By the time I actually got an NES, I was kind of sick of the game. So. I never really got around to mastering it. I didn't play it that much until, um, man, like three or four years ago when I wrote uh, sort of a treatise on the design of the game. That, that sort of forced me to sit down and play through it, but I did it very piecemeal, a game at a time, a level at a time. So uh, <clears throat> I, I would not call myself an expert in this game by any means. Um, anyway, I'm playing the... the Famicom Disk System version, which is pretty much identical to the NES version, as you can see. Excuse me, as you can see, it does have some sort of arcane differences that I probably won't be able to get into. The uh, the minus levels, the negative world, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's totally different than uh, the one on the NES. Whereas the NES, you have one negative world. Here you have an infinite array of minus stages, and they're all very different. And some of them kind of r remind you of the lost levels actually there's there's weird stuff like flying squid and that sort of thing that you didn't really see uh in the original super mario brothers you didn't see until the sequel uh... anyway so again the premise here is that i play until i take a hit it doesn't matter oh well there we go i took a hit so i reset and we start over. And I think this time I'll take the shortcut through the game. Through the through 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'm not so good at uh, this game, and I'm especially not so good at this game as I'm talking. So this could go very badly. I've heard someone else on staff made it quite a ways into the game before they, they cacked it. So uh, I'm probably not going to live up to that. But you know, someone's got to kind of set a low bar for everyone else to clear, so I'll post these videos first, and you can be amazed at how much better the rest of the staff is than me. Um, so yeah, this is uh, being played on an analog NT game system, which I've written about and posted videos of. I finally got the video set up to where I really like it, and it sounds good and looks good, Hoping there's not too much buzz on the audio track. There's there's been a problem with that, but this is a chance for me to play the actual game on actual hardware, so to speak. I guess you can consider the Famicom Disk System actual hardware. Uh, so what you're seeing here is not tool assisted because I can't do that on uh, the Famicom Disk System or the Analog NT. That's not that's not part of its remit. There are no save states here, no do-overs, no rewinds, it's just me and my shoddy skills and a lot of Goombas. And I think 
think there was a way to get... Yeah, there we go. So, here's a, here's a famous trick the Japanese uh, created called... Japanese fans called Unchi, which means poop, because it looks like that coin is a poop coming out of Mario. Isn't that great? You just learned something about video game culture. Anyway, let's skip on past. Yes, yeah, because I'm cheap. Maybe for the last uh, last attempt, I'll try the minus world. But for now, getting my hundred points. I actually am not really great at a uh, video game commentary, as you've probably noticed. So I'm not really entirely sure what to say aside from the fact that, hey, I'm playing a video game. I've kind of run through my whole routine, and I still have uh, an entire life to burn through after this one, so God knows what's going to happen. That was kind of nice, um, hitting the Goomba on the rebound. I'm proud anyway. Of course, after I call out my skills for that, I totally screw up on the next ones. So I'm to world 1-4. Congratulations, me. Uh, still a long way to go through this Super Mario Brothers. And knowing my luck, I'll probably miss it right here. Run into fire bars or fire balls or something. Some kind of fire. Kind of a, uh, it's kind of nice to go back and play actual Super Mario Brothers. I've been playing through the U.S. Gamer Mario Maker contest entries. That was more than 150 entries, and let me tell you, some of them were very good and some of them were not very good. But uh, no offense to the people who made less than stellar levels. You know, we all got to start somewhere. My first few levels were not so great either. And in fact, I don't think I've really made a great Mario Maker level, because I haven't been able to mess with it since the game came out. Um, but, you know, going back and playing these restrained Super Mario Brothers levels, where there's just not that much happening on the screen, it's, uh, it's kind of nice. It's a treat. It's not like uh, trying to trick me every possible way. So I, I seem to have warmed up a little bit, so I'm not quite as terrible as I was. That's nice. I have to say, though, I'm, I'm playing this on, like I said, actual hardware and uh, on a CRT television, and it's... A lot more responsive than playing on, uh, you know, an HD TV with Virtual Console or something, or even on 3DS. Um, there's just zero lag with this. So really, any screw-ups that I make, uh, they're no one's fault but my own. The color saturation on this is so good. Like I, I don't remember Super Mario Brothers looking this beautiful, but man, it's vivid blues and purples and reds. Um, and you're probably not seeing that because everything's getting processed through uh, USB. Uh, through a video capture device, so you're probably thinking, what an ass. But that's just, you know, that's part of who I am. An ass. Who likes colors. And isn't all that good as for Mario Brothers. Yeah, there we go. Alright. The prophecy has been proven. So, one final try. My third attempt at being a one-hit wonder. And, uh, my guess is that I'm probably not going to get as far as... Whoa, I almost died right there. That would have been bad. My guess is I'm probably not going to get as far as uh, I think it was Bob did. Apparently someone's made it to 5-3, so maybe I spoiled the, the surprise. Shortcut. And we're done. So yeah, I'm a long way from being a speedrunner class here. I have a friend 
who uh, lives in Japan, and anytime we go out to retro gaming bars, his shtick is that he cracks open the virtual console version of Super Mario Brothers and does a speed run. I think he's got it down to like seven minutes using warps. Uh, I am not him. I am going to play awkwardly and ineptly. That is what I do. But it's fine, you know? I'm the, the EIC of the site. It wouldn't do for me to show up my staff members. There's got to be some sportsmanship here, so uh, I will I will play poorly in the spirit in which it's intended, which is that, uh, like I said, I'm the the miserable baseline for everyone else to exceed. And I realize it's super cheap to do that, but... Alright, you know, I've never been able to get the Minus World thing to work, but... I'm trying to remember, you have, like... I'm getting close. Oh, well, so much for that. Alright. Onward and upward. Still have never gotten the Minus World thing to work. So I just cheated you out of the opportunity to see something really cool. You can send your letters of disapproval to Gamer Network uh, at firejeremy at gamernetwork.com. .net, sorry. Really should have just done the warp, but oh well. It'd be really cool if there were, you know, special features or something I could show off with the uh, Famicom Disk System of the version of the game, but it's pretty much just a straight dump of the ROM cartridge. Like, there's nothing fancy, they didn't add anything. There were some Famicom Disk System games that uh, did get boosted, like old NES games that got moved to uh, Famicom Disk System later in life. Um, you know, they released Excite Bike as Excite Bike Versus, which uh, allowed you to edit tracks and had multiplayer and was really cool. And that's actually out on Virtual Console in the US, so you should definitely check that out. There was also Clue Clue Land D, or I think it was also called New Clue Clue Land, that added, I don't know, like a boss fight and some other stuff. Um, but this is just plain old Super Mario Brothers. Nothing fancy, just me killing a Goomba pretending to be Bowser. Sadly, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the part where you see the really ugly version of Princess Peach, or Princess Toadstool, as she was called back then. Wow, slow down. I don't remember that. My goodness. Nintendo, get your act together. This is your pride and joy here. Wow, that piranha plant... Wasn't there a piranha plant on the short pipe? No, I guess not. I thought it was, uh, being shy, but I guess I was just imagining it. So we're back about to where I was when I died before, or got hit. Let's see if I can actually make it all the way to 2-3. My guess is... no. Oh wait, did I make it to 2-3 before? I guess I did. Can I make it to 2-4 though? That's the trick. Oh no, I, I, I died here in the water, that's right. Because I was so busy gasping about how beautiful the vivid blue in the background is. Well, I won't make that mistake again. Probably make some other completely different mistake that's equally stupid. Like that, like not being able to hit a squid. How hard is that? Come on.
So the thing about you not being able to hit enemies from above when you're underwater, but you can hit the same enemies from above and kill them when you're over land, that really, I don't know, it's very confusing. I wish Mario would get his act together. And also, why is that squid avoiding me? Is he frightened of me? Did he watch me murdering his kin and say, oh, gotta get away from this psychotic plumber? I actually don't know. Well, I think I officially made it further than I did the uh, last time, so that's good. I can at least be proud of that. My parents will, will be delighted. They waste all that time and energy for nothing. And World 2-2 is down. Alright, so the bridge... I think this bridge you can pretty much just run and never have to worry. I could be mistaken. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. If I screw up, then... well, I screw up. Alright, so technically I didn't take a hit, but I did die. So that's it for me. That's World 2-3. And yeah, I have extra lives, but it's a limited of, of three attempts. So, the question now is, can anyone else on the U.S. Gamer staff outdo me and my amazing World 2-3 record? My guess is yes. Actually, it's not a guess. I know that someone will do better. So, you can look forward to that. Anyway, this has been me, Jeremy Parrish, playing a video game badly for your entertainment. Thanks for watching.